Is anybody trapped in the vehicle? Yes, he's an elderly gentleman. Does he appear to be injured at all? Yeah, his head's bleeding a little bit. How many people okay. are in the rollover vehicle? Just one and a little dog. Just got the intersections, all I got. Three vehicles involved. One patient in the rolled over vehicle. Vehicle's on its side. That person appears to be trapped. Oh, geez. We got bystanders there that are trying to rock the vehicle. And somebody's already advised them to get a step away. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Stay right there, we're gonna get you out, okay? Hey! Where's the glass axe? We're gonna, hang on, we're gonna come in and get you. Stay right there. John, I need to, I wanna take this windshield so I can talk to him at least. He just looks like he's trapped. Cover yourself with the blanket. Yeah, pop it. I think we're okay with uh, just us um, making access to the patient right now. I want to talk to him real quick. We need some cribbing, John. Some cribbing. A little bit of glass. You got your, is it you and your dog, sir? I'll have you, man. Sir, are you hurt anywhere? No, I'm good. No, any hip pain, back pain, or neck pain? Nope. All right. There's a dog, Megan. Can you grab him? Yeah. My partner's going to grab your dog right now, okay? We have enough. Just be careful. All right, now you're not hurt anywhere? Okay, I'm going to disconnect it. It's on the other side. Here we go. Ready? Now, well, listen, you're going to drop down a little bit, so I want. Okay, here we go. Here we go. How's that? Yep, I'm good. Okay, no neck, back, or head no, pain? No. Don't feel like anything's broke? No. You think that with my help, you can twist up here and get out of this? I doubt it. Can't you get okay, wait, we got some blood going. Can get this in there first? It's on my elbow. Can you get this turned over? Nope. 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 No. no. That will not put you in a better situation. Well, I, we can't, we can't, we can't flip 3,000 pounds either, boss. Going up, one, two, three. Someone grab that board and push it down slowly. Hold on. You ready? One, two, three. Okay, go down. All right, put your right there. Okay. Right, gotta pull the board that way. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Got him? Yeah. Okay. I'm getting out. We got the board. I'm getting out. <clears throat> he had a small puppy in his hand, and I made sure we got that out because the dog was terrified in there so the dog is one of our patients too at that point so i made sure that he the dog got out first plus uh, we don't want him biting anybody you know or you know that could be a that's an issue too or or getting in the way of what we need to do to get the patient out we're responding to a uh, report of a rollover with entrapment 704 on the scene How many patients do we got in there? Two. Two. Do you want me to break this? No, because. How you doing, man? So let's get vitals on him real quick. I don't want to move this car too much because him partially hanging out. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? You're good? Are you hurt anywhere? I know. I understand that. I got to wait for the fire truck to get here so we can get this vehicle stabilized. He's partially ejected, that's on top of him. And then I got a passenger that's on top of him. So I got two people in that unit. They're securing the vehicle with blocks of wood. They got the hearse tool here, and they have to figure out how they're gonna establish access to the patient. They're gonna probably be busting glass, so they got, they got sheets that we put over the patient, trying to keep them from getting glass on them.
Once they get this guy out, let's uh -huh. get the stretcher over there and get him on the stretcher. They're getting the top guy out right now. All right. Looks like what they're doing is everything's going to be cut except the, the pulse between the front and back window. Got the passenger extricated. He doesn't appear to have any major injuries. We'll get him back to the medic unit where it's a quieter environment, evaluating, do his vital signs, go from there with him. Now we're working on getting the uh, the driver out. Seven zero four, second patient's extricated. Seven zero four, second patient extricated. Okay. We're gonna look you, look you over in the ambulance. You, you, let's be easy with it. You got a pretty good knot on your head, man. You should go get go to the hospital, get checked out. Hand. All right. Hey, can you stick it? There you go. Perfect. Uh, huh? Okay. Yeah, he's fine. We got him over in the other ambulance checking him out, all right? He's worried about you. Once we were able to get the front seat passenger out, it made it easier to get the driver back up through the window opening without the car moving and causing him an injury, and we were able to get him out. Given the situation, both of them are pretty lucky. They've got very minor injuries, mainly from broken glass. Let's get the struts. Oh, can you just get those struts out? We'll take a look in a second, see if we actually need the tools. All right, what we're going to do is he's an older individual and looks like he's having problems standing without assistance. So we're going to put a seat collar on him. We're going to go ahead and flatten the front part of the roof of the vehicle so we can make access to help him up and get him on the stretcher. Make sure his head's covered right, up. Going now. Cover him up. Yes, sir. See all this glass up here? It's going to break. So keep keep your whole body covered up for us. Yeah, we don't want to get any in your eyes or anything like that. Yep. All right. Feels down. He's breaking glass. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get these. Yeah, what we want is I'm gonna break these posts and we just wanna cut it down. Yeah, I'm gonna break this top one. Saw's are right here. So go all the way down with it. the blade back just a little bit. Okay, we got enough room now, guys. Just grab him by the waist, slide him up on that board, and bring him right out. He's a little bit elderly, so he's having he has a harder time getting up and getting out than like a younger guy would. So we just created a larger hole. He's not really complaining of any injury except for shoulder pain. C collar is always precautionary in any type of rollover situation to protect the C spine. We did, a, uh, we did a half roof flap on it. We just cut some posts with our hydraulic tools. We made the rest of the flap with the sawzall. Now we're just gonna assist them onto our backboard. 
Get him on the stretcher and get him all to the hospital for x-rays to see if he's got any underlying injuries. Yeah, then I won't okay, just put him on that sucker right there. We just got a call for a vehicle accident. It's a rollover with entrapment. We don't have any other updates, so we don't know how many patients. And then, of course, uh, extrication can take extra time. We have to call a truck, which helps us uh, in case the vehicle clear, right? it needs to be stabilized or the people need to be cut out of the vehicle. We just have an engine responding with us. So those are a couple of our major concerns right now. And I think there might be somebody still in the car. If you want to grab a board. So here's the vehicles on its side here, and somebody's still trapped inside. So we're going to get our backboard, our gurney, and see if we can get them out. What's up, Cap? Up, Need anything from us she right now? Sounds like she's OK right now. She's not complaining of anything. Okay. But the, the vehicle is rocking back and forth, so okay. we're going to wait for the truck to get here to okay. put its stabilization down. Copy that. The vehicle's on its side does have somebody trapped in there. They're OK, but the uh, vehicle's on some grass. It's a little bit unstable, so we're going to wait for the tr uh, truck to get here. They can put some chocks underneath, stabilize it, so we can then get in there and get the, the person out. Uh, until then, we kind of got to wait. She was coming this way. Those okay. Those tire tracks. Yeah. That tree. Uh-huh. And it went this way. So it hit it and kind of. Yeah. So we've just, uh, we've just made access to her. Um, just broke that window, literally, to get in closer to talk to her. But she does seem like she's doing OK. So this is giving us kind of a unique situation. It's just rather difficult with the vehicle being a little bit unstable. So we're trying to figure out if the person's able to stand up, help lift herself out with us helping. Um, there's not a lot of room in a little sedan when it's sideways. If they, uh, Tito, if they want the caller, I got that right here, too. You want a smaller one? Dude, she's hanging out three. Yeah. Uh, sketchy on the event. She's got year, quarters, and dollar, but she can't. She thinks she's in Rancho Cordova. OK. Got it. It turns out she doesn't actually quite remember the incident, so we're concerned it might be um, a little blood sugar or something going on. She crashed her vehicle. Uh, low speeds, not quite a trauma alert. We had to use the jaws of life to get her out of there. Uh, she couldn't extricate herself. We're assessing her for injuries right now, and we're going to take her to our local trauma center. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.